Hey everybody, welcome back to New Jang City. Here I'm going to give you just a quick small update on progress towards revamping this zoo. So let me bring you on this side. So I don't even know why I chose to go with this specific order of operations, but I took all of the patrons, all of the visitors out of the zoo. I just have employees left. I don't know, I just felt like an appropriate first step for how long this thing has been around and the amount of focus that I've put on the the figures and their experience. So here are all the visitors. I just threw them down here for now. And another thing I did was start stripping off some of the foliage because I want to take the pieces, you know, of this that of, of which there are a lot and sort them away quickly. I don't want to just end up with a, a huge pile of pieces that then need to be sorted and it adds extra work. So uh, where I can, I'll keep things together. So I've got all the, the bushes that have been picked up, the bushes and large trees, well, small to medium trees, you know, preformed trees from Lego, then pulled from all around the grounds from the outsides. And then these pieces, the, these two types of pieces right here, were all pulled from the edges. And that's, that's interesting, because this gives me a look at the zoo in a way that I have not quite seen it ever before. It's just a little bit cleaner. Uh, to be honest with you, I hated these things because they would always fall off. You know, I had them just lightly attached around the edges on the tops of the, the palisade textured fence parts. And anytime I'd come around here and I'd be doing something, <laughs> that would happen. So I'm so glad to have these gone. And I can see there's another one that actually fell down in there as, as it is. I'm glad to have those gone. And this just gives me, I don't know, just some stuff to think about. I haven't even decided what color that I want to use for the outside of this or what colors that I want to use for the outside of this. And that's another thing I guess I should mention. I haven't done a lot of planning for this and I'm not going to do a whole lot of planning for this. Uh, you know, I'm going to be doing destruction, taking things apart, harvesting out the things that I do want to use again in the future, especially the animals, and then starting from scratch. And yeah, it's just going to be an organic, appropriately, organic process, which is exactly how I personally like to build and proceed with lego stuff i like it to just be the fun of working with the parts uh, speaking of working with parts and fun or maybe not so much fun let's see if i can do this in one take here so i i previously mentioned that i have thought about punching a hole through the side of the hill over here for a monorail track to go through if you look over there you can see some monorail track pieces some additional ones that I've been playing around with. I just moved them out of the way for now for some other stuff that I've been filming in here this week. But yeah, I've been looking at what I could do to lay that out. And I've been preparing to punch the hole in the side of the hill. So if I come around to this side underneath this little table. And of course, you can't see under there because it's all dark. Well, eventually this will be lit up. No worries. But I brought a little portable light with me so you can see that I've been doing some destruction under here as well. This is a lot more difficult than it looks like, I guarantee you, unless you're familiar with this sort of process. You see all the all the duplo that's under there? That's all the the substrate. That's all the foundation for the mountain. And I go from, from duplo to take up a lot of space to just regular system bricks on top, just a small layer of system bricks, and then build on top of that. And it's not just, it's not like there's a flat surface on top of that where you can just peel things up. No, this was all integrated into the side. So it has taken some serious time and some serious work. Let me see if I can get even more light in there for you. Brighten things up a bit more. Yeah, that, I think that that's more than enough. But yeah, getting that, getting that to that point, you can see some things are still halfway done back there. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was an adventure. Not too many system bricks were harvested from that, but a bunch of Duplo stuff. And that's just where it begins. It's going to be even more difficult to start punching out some of those big, ugly rock pieces and to, to create the actual hole. Uh, we'll probably end up making a larger hole than it needs to be. And then I'll start filling in from the outside to, to deal with that. Probably going to have the monorail track come fairly close to this mainline tunnel over here. I need to figure out a, an, an interface so I can show just a little bit of a, of a cutaway from where the real tunnel is and then where you as a as a viewer looking from the outside would see through to the zoo related displays that will be under here. Uh, 
that, that will continue because I mean, I've got this space, so I'm, I'm definitely going to use it. Like I said, I'm going to light it up and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that leg right there, that little miniature cut down table leg. If I want to move it entirely, uh, like move it inward, see if I can figure out a way to make that work. So there's still some structural support on this corner, or if I just want to build around it, if I want to offset it a little bit, uh, yeah, I need to figure that out. But yeah, this this took a bit of work, but it, it's working. I'm making progress, but the most difficult stuff is yet to come. And I need to figure out exactly yet how I'm going to lay out the monorail track and if I'm even going to be able to pull it off. That is not that is not a known yet, not a 100% known. So uh, my, my latest thinking about this remains to have a single line at ground level going through there and then it'll it'll the, the train such as it will be will go through and then it'll just get to the end and then it'll reverse it'll be at ground level and then i want this to ramp up be at a higher level up above do the widest turn possible come out to here and possibly come back there now i've thought about turning in but i've i've learned the hard way that the official lego monorail tracks require a lot of space even more space than i was counting on uh, especially at, like the ramps require all this space and i'll have just a little bit of room at ground level back there to have kind of a, a station or something so I, I still have some stuff to work out but i wanted to show you well mostly what the zoo looks like a little bit cleaner there's a little bit of nostalgia behind this uh, an another another final look before things really start to get torn apart as a matter of fact you know what i'm just going to start this right now just to just just to do it because i just thought about it just to make it just to make it happen doing it live oh man this hurts this, this, this almost physically hurts i think these colors go together the way that i uh, arrange those parts this comes down hey hey hey, hey. there's something <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that when I was doing my final tour video. Uh, that's easy enough to do. So you can see a couple of the, the displays over there that you couldn't otherwise, as you can see very well. That's the first time that's been seen like that since I built the thing. And then this is where I had most recently the restroom. Uh, this just got blocked off with the, the restroom. Most recently was back here, just taking up that space like that. And as you can see, just you know, just barely doesn't doesn't fit and the reason for that is this space where i put it and having a full base plate over there just making it easier uh, i could have if i really wanted this to be the final shape of the zoo i could have cut down some base plates to make a little bit of room or something but i didn't and that's fine and it doesn't even matter now because it's all getting take getting uh, taken down look at this just pop that through there we go okay uh, what about this? Put that over there for right now. Pop this up. Let's see if I can. Yep, there we go. Bet you didn't know this had a door on it. I forgot about that door myself. Had to have some suggestion of a way to get in there. So the idea was that this door would go into the, the food shack. And then the food shack has a door on the side as well. I, had, I made sure that there was that little bit of space there where a person could get through. But removing the ticket office now allows me to... Knock these down, and I can now pull this stuff like so. Well, I mean, I could just pull the food shack up as well. Look at that. I'm not expecting to do this, but hey, it happened. I just want to get that one last piece out. Get out of there. Yeah. All right. How's that? Yeah. That's more progress than I thought. Wow. You know what? This actually already feels better to me. I didn't expect that. Just uh, the idea of having a lot more space for the for the animals. And you know what? I still have not figured out my strategy for the uh, for the pens, for how I'm going to hold the animals in place. I have a secret that I've been holding on to for a long time that is going to explain a lot of things for people who are worried about the condition of the animals and want to report me to PETA or whatever. I have a secret that's going to make a lot of people a lot more comfortable i think and possibly some a bit more uh, a little bit more perturbed but 
I think it'll, I think it'll work out. So at least my conscience will be clear with regards to that. But I still want it to look nice. I still want it to be an, an immersive experience where the figures can come through. Look at this. This is looking, this is feeling so much better to me. Ah, this is the idea of the the trees. I'm definitely gonna have a lot more trees. That that's a guarantee. I want to use trees to to hide things and to have kind of reveal experiences as the figures walk around on tour. I also want it to not be quite so rectangular. I want to have some more curves to the, the shapes of the exhibits and things. Just rectangles are really efficient use of space. Really efficient use of space. But you have to lose a little bit of that. Yeah, I'm not going to pull these up just, just yet, but very soon. Yeah, gosh, just doing that gives me more inspiration and brings up more questions. Let me take you around to the other side as well. There we go. Okay, not as yeah, not as dramatic of a difference over here. Uh, just because there's there's still a lot of stuff that's in the way. Although the gift shop that can just be pulled out there. That doesn't really help. Yeah, this is not such a good view from over here. This isn't giving me good vibes from this side. I got good vibes from that side with more of the natural stuff. So I think that tells me something. That tells me that for me, I need more focus on natural looking spaces, natural looking environments to walk through. A mm, little, little less synthetic, a little less concrete, a little less you know, man-made structure. Interesting. I'm gonna pull this out as well, because I can. Look at this, 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 this turned, this, this really changed. I was just gonna show you what I had done, now I've ended up doing more. Hmm. Okay, now from this side, it just feels more like blank slate to me. The other side was more inspirational. I do still like those areas back there. And the idea of using the mosaics in the back. Uh, a lot of people like that. I like that. Makes me feel good to see those things. But I do want a little more focus on the, the natural and open stuff. It'll be interesting. It'll be challenging. Still a lot more planning needs to be done. A lot more thinking especially needs to be done. But it's coming along. These are important steps along the way. Small as they are. Very important. That's it for this update, though. Thanks for watching. I will keep you posted and talk to you again soon.